And welcome back, guys. We're going to be playing some more Fallout 76. We're going to go do this supervisor mission that I accidentally activated. Let's get into it. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe button. Oh, boy. What am I looking at? Dasa has asked us all to document our stories for posterity, you know. Seems like a fine idea. So... Hi, I am Kesha McDermott. When the bombs fell, I was in Watoka, coordinating a statewide science fair for that year's high school kids. And the theme was the future of energy. After the bombs, everything was pretty chaotic. Scavenging for food and fighting off rapid survivors. Oh, it was just a bad time all around. Hey, boiled bar, nice. I found a couple of surviving kids from the high school whose parents didn't make it. And we hold up the house now for a while. able to solder the circuitry in an old radio and we tuned in to a broadcast from the Ow. responders. Oh, we were overjoyed. The trip from Watoka to Flatwoods. It was rough, mind you. The kids and I ran into a group of assholes in the mountains who stole our food and water. I can't tell you how happy I was to find the responders in Flatwoods. Tents for everyone, open kitchens, medical supplies, protection. <laughs> we were safe. They had a problem, though. Their water sources were contaminated heavily. People were boiling water, but not long enough to make it safe. So, I stepped up and I said, I'll build a testing kit to monitor the contamination, and I will teach folks how to properly boil water. Oh. And I did. But slowly, make sure it doesn't collapse. It's going to take time and care, that's all. Well, time, care, and fire. Board. Uh oh. I tried moving my camp down here. Didn't work. Some medics. No, I don't want to go outside. Trying to do this mission, you only have a certain time limit to do it. <laughs> uh, yeah, as soon as I have power, I definitely want to start producing wire to make easy caps. Um, hide. Unidentified. Right, let's, let me go back inside. <laughs> Please tell me nothing responds. Please tell me nothing responds. Down to 93 ammo. Okay.
paintbrush. Hoping it might give a hint. Hmm. I mean, one good thing of making me come in here, it did allow me to get like medical stuff. Guess I'm going outside. I want to focus on the main question as much as possible. I can always do side questing later on, but you get the idea. Potential source found. Now this much, I'm going to have to resupply an ammo. <laughs> uh, this means I gotta go in and find more junk. Sell it. Once I get war going, I'll be happy because I guess I can sell it. Well, gold pepper, yay! Hey, look at me, like, what the fuck? Gold pepper's important too. That moment COVID comes out, 
and all its health ever just magically disappears? It's time to switch so that Targeting programs. Oh, there's eight claps, hell yeah. I would say it was worth it, the caps. I don't think it was worth the amount of ammo I spent getting in there, but. Eh. All these doctor bags all the place, but nothing useful. Oh, look, that bobby pin. Stuff. Hey, look, fertilizer. Waste acid. Fertilizer. Something called the fire cap. Kind of picking up whatever at this point. Not sure, not sure what any of it does. <laughs> I will say this much: I am going to have to resupply. So, So when you guys see gaps where I'm just physically not really doing quests and nothing's really being pushed on the channel, I'm either B, collecting tons of junk to put in that camp thing, or I'm taking a break. I should be resting. I just had my booster and flu shot done. Those after effects. Woo, baby. I do have plans to play Dead Island on the channel here at some point, it's just take time. Let's just make sure we got everything so that we don't physically go, hmm, we should have gone back and gotten that, you know? Oh boy, I'm becoming overcompetent already. I want it all. 
All right, let's get out of here. Let's go back to the camp. Test a sample of water from the river. What? All right, I guess I'm going to go test some water samples. Ooh. Look at this picture we're looking at. It looks like a fresh hell. I'm pretty sure that water is contaminated. Test a water sample from Flatwoods Water Pump. Street man. Can I open these doors? Can. Is there anything really of use in here? Probably not. Hey, boil water. Yeah, anytime after a nuclear apocalypse or a virus outbreak, always boil the water. Even if you think it's safe, do it anyways, just boil it. It's just safer than sorry. Definitely gotta get the perk for more carry space. This whole not being able to grab stuff and, you know, be able to pick it up is driving me up one wall and down the other. Let's drop that. Weighing me down. It's gotta be better, right? Well, that's a hell of a bridge. How did I not see that walking in here? Chase the cow, not me. I wonder everyone's turning to ghouls. Why is Ray in? I'm just gonna have to dump a bunch of crap that we don't need. That could be why I'm.
Okay, that works. I can sprint again! No longer stuck with tur turtle speed. Brush up on your responder survival. I should probably go buy ammo. So if we were but, students of yours, yeah. what would you tell us about the world now? How can we survive? Oh, I That's a good myself. question, Dasa. Well, I would tell you all to remain calm and focus on surviving. The first thing you need to do is get yourself some clean drinking water. It's likely all you'll find is dirty water, but that's okay. We can fix it. Dirty water carries a small chance of disease, and it's a bit radioactive. You'll probably survive if you drink it, but you shouldn't take that risk. It's better than toxic water or nuclear waste, though, which are both very harmful and should be boiled Dilbert. thoroughly first. Got that, Dutha? Yes, um, contaminated Run water should be boiled. Kitchen. Hey, that sounds easy enough. So, boiled water is safe? It's mostly safe, but still a bit radioactive. What you really want is purified water. Oh, purified water. Okay, how do I get that? You can build machines that will do it for you, and that's the most reliable way. Building them requires some space and time and plenty of materials. But... On my way up here from Watoga, I found purified water occasionally in supply caches and medical kits. <laughs> so, keep your eyes peeled. If I boil water, and that's mostly safe, aside from a teensy bit of radiation, what about tea? Most folks around here are tea drinkers, as you know. I recall many a night sipping tea on the stoop, watching lightning bugs, and reading a book in peace and quiet. Tell me that's still okay, Kesha. Oh, bless uh, no. you all. Kind of hard to learn from someone that's dead. Search around training instructions around the other top. Some meat from one of the local cows. Toss it in the fire. Right, you know that cow that was being chased by pharaohs? Guess what I gotta go do? 
Shoot it. Where'd you go, cow cow? Sorry, buddy. That goes a long ways. Tonight, we bring you the final chapter of Who Goes There? The Strange Encounter in Flatwoods. In the last Cook episode, <laughs> Pioneer Scout Fred Fisher met a curious girl named Sally while hiding in the dark. But, as it turned out, they weren't alone. There are other people here? Yeah, they probably just want to get more food. They'll be back soon enough. You can wait with me, and they'll give it's you a good little quest too. for caps, I guess. You just have to do what they want. What do you mean? When they want to play games with you. Games? What kind of games? I'm still learning the rules. Mostly, they're kind of boring, and only hurt when they use the needles. Needles? Yeah, you know, like at the doctor. Doesn't sound like any game I know. It sounds downright awful, and these people sound really bad. We have to get out of here. No, no, stay put, stay put, stay put, stay put. Okay, okay, stop screaming. Ah, the light, it's so bright. That's where they come in to bring food, but when it's time to play. <gasps> Sally, what's that helmet thing you're wearing? It looks like it's screwed into your head. Overseers, let's call these personal journals. Not an official log, just something for me. The Agricultural Center. One of my first posts was Vault Tech. I was so excited oh, yeah. because I, I used to, to come to and drop same farm when I was a kid. <sighs> I remember one year at the Autumn Festival, me running going every which way, mom and dad yelling after me to slow down. <laughs> Wasn't going to happen. I guess I was always hitting my fast. Couldn't just be a pioneer scout. I had to make troop leader. Couldn't just be a good student. I had to have straight A's. God, I miss those early days. Being a kid, the three of us, our simple life, Simple house. I wonder if it's still standing.
I'll definitely have to make it so I get more AP. Agility points, basically. It's all of it. It let me run fast. Ooh. Trying to avoid that crap right there. My stamina. Oh. Stop letting me run. Oh, good, he only took care of it. I figured if I start producing some kind of food or something, I could sell it. that way. It's a slow, tedious process doing it that way though. Can always use more logs. Crash piece of armor, are you sure? Slowly. This is what happens when your character is overweight. It just kills the stamina that you had. As far as I can tell, people can't take anything from you unless I'm just very lucky. I don't know. But that's what it seems like so far. Come on, you can do it. Come on. I can always get more later. I don't like that you physically have to go to Atomic Shop. I don't know if you earn these Atomic Points somewhere else.
ignore that sheet metal. You need a white doorway, man. Of course, I can't have a doorway. I just put everything in place. It's so helpful, not really. Bad for shit check. Oh, I can make power already. Hmm. That's great. Why not? Not like I can use it for anything yet. Super reactor. Chicken coop, turbo, fertilizer collector. I'm not sure why I would need any of this. I'll definitely play SP one of these. Our bobbleheads in this, alright. Didn't know. Magazine holder. Just checking out the build sizings. What's this? Vending machine, tables, wall decoration, musical. Wooden Tavern. We're looking for these things called extractors. Supposedly they extract stuff for you once you find a deposit. Definitely have to move my camp at some point, but you get the general idea. Kind of guess it's going to be under power. station is going to be big. But, eh. Alright. 
It's nighttime. I don't want it to be nighttime. I want it to be daytime. Service is the dead. <laughs> Never mind, cancel it. Try something. Of course, that would be too easy, huh? Sell that off. I'm trying to think of ways to lower the amount of crap we have. All right. stuff, go buy ammo. <laughs> it's alright. Definitely different than most Fallout games. At first I didn't like it, but I still don't really like it. It's just not really Fallout anymore from my perspective. It's kind of more like... Bleh, happened. <laughs> But, eh, that's just my point of view on things. Kind of looking at it like, eh. Oh man, they gotta make eat food? Look at my wire level there. That was some nasty shit. Ooh, for my sake. Ooh. He's selling you one of these. Let's sell you a lead pipe.
Oh, I probably should keep that. Interface is still very glitchy. All right. All right. This looks like a good place to stop, guys. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video.